the last reaction of mine of this series is so messed up because like we were going in thinking pink ranger was like sakura my last name so i'm like oh wait 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 it's his sister his sister and then she showed up in a wheelchair and the, the real sister which is a pink ranger i'm like wait it's not sister so i i spoil myself and then i unspoil myself and then at the end it's like whoa it actually is a sister what a chaotic fucking reaction but at least it worked out in its way pink ranger is indeed the uh hibiki's sister both shared the sakura my last name but that's not even the most surprising thing the most surprising thing is we are keeping this other warrior duster in her closet she's fucking insane but it seems like there's like a different basically subgroups the people that stayed with you know with the keepers and to do the show right basically they, they are being oppressed but the other dusters that kind of left that shit and try to wage war they see us as traitors so the story is getting very interesting as usual the sister also is probably one of the worst you know the worst uh what's it called a brocon because like how the fuck if you are a brocon you should know everything about your little brother maybe she was too horny at the change of like like she wanted hibiki to become more independent and a little bit more defiant right so d having that kind of persona in hibiki's form maybe that was distracting her from kind of realizing is this my real brother or not she's a fucking a freaky girl though now why can she walk she's in a wheelchair usually but it's the suit when she goes henshin i guess the power ranger suit gives her powers where she's not crippled anymore that's gotta be the reason right anyways let's begin today's reaction one plus two equals what's going on right now is this sunday what the fuck was this animation just showing all our teammates do work at the same time that, that was this is a weird panel our cohorts are also very interesting. Is this just training? It's gotta be training. Red Keeper. No, you won't. Oh, that's a really angry guy, right? I, I, I think this is the dude that was just constantly fucking pissed off. Oh, okay, it was actual simulations. I thought they actually got real dust just to like help us with training. Skill issue. Damn, dude. Alright, that guy's got something to prove. Exit. Her name is Exit. Yandere? Sundere? Yeah, him. But he was leading in the skills, the scores. Muscles! Holy! What's that earring? I wonder what this is. I wonder what this is. This new arc is so exciting too because like so many new characters being introduced and they all have such cool designs and different pers personas, right? Wonder if they're just gonna be fodder though, if they like matter for the future. Are they even gonna join us? They can't join us. They're on the side of the humans. Like why would they side with the dusters, right? We're it's literally just us and XX here, unless there's like other dusters around that's like left the you know the castle. <laughs> White Dragoness final exam. Three days, 30 minutes each day. Teamwork is necessary. You really think that Hibiki and the other guy is going to do teamwork? Maybe if the situation is so dire that they need to help each other. With those people. <laughs> They are so on the opposite sides, yeah. <laughs> Already kind of clashing. Kill him right now. Or maybe we can become good friends. 
What is beyond the... Or maybe it has different motivations. Oh? Really? Wait. She's the monster that we gotta beat? So, okay, okay. The, the mo okay, the, our opponents are basically like the second juniors, right? Okay, okay, okay. They are. They're like the second in command of all the keepers. Juniors, right? The clown dude! We are no 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 different no no separate no, no no there should be a new guy. We killed! We killed the no, no, we didn't kill Red Keeper smashed his junior's face in during the thing, right? So someone new must rise up. Is it the clown dude that got promoted? His voice sounds familiar. It's him. It's it's the clown dude. The makeup is gone. We fucked him up last time. He survived, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, the clown dude, yep. Oh, Daddy! Oh! Suzukiri has gotten isekai'd. <laughs> no, she's not gone. No, but. but <laughs> this is the classic isekai, though. Mm. Bye bye! Wonder which isekai she's getting animated into. Oh! She can take these two out. I mean, you fucked up the clown dude before. Let's fuck him up again. <laughs> He's already beating him. This is not even color. He's already calling out his seniors. And you know what? I kind of do like him. I, I, I do like how just confident he is, but like. Wonder how far this character is gonna go. He is pretty interesting. He said he sees something beyond just this test. Maybe he's an integral character and we're judging him too harshly because he's being a dick. <laughs> oh, never mind. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> I just spoke way too quick. I, I, I thought he was competent. I thought he was talking big <laughs> and now he's just getting fucked up by Mr. Mr. Clan without the makeup, bro. <laughs> Shit. And he's done. He is pretty decently strong, I guess. How'd the little kid win? This is this is Blue's Jr., the one that was stealing Blue's food. And Blue is like the scariest looking one, and he's got like a lolly for it. And she's that strong? She is that. I mean, maybe the guy on the left is not that strong, but really, like, okay. She just dismantled both of them. I know she's the strongest of each squad, the second strongest, but it's like a girl that stature? Wait, 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 wait. They have history? Hold down. The last time we played together was back at the orphanage. So they do have history. Well, the real Hibiki anyways. Yeah, that guy was all talk, man. If we get hit once, the transformation kind of just goes away, right? All yellow squad members have this. Dragon gadget. You got a gun? Alright, we shooting now. Oh wait, he's up. Still our partner? Okay, buy us some time, bro. I mean, he can after he talked all that shit. It was intentional! And now, with the vision of True. Weakling? Bro, you can't even fucking breathe right now. What the fuck are you fucking doing? This guy fucking. Oh my god. If only he could back up the fucking cockiness with actual competency, but so far, he's kind of an L. Wonder what his backstory is. That monster. Which one? <laughs> Must be the god or the duster boss that we think it is. The person that appeared in Hibiki's backstory and did the whole beam attack thing. Maybe he's also faced one of those guys? Oh, 
What? Don't, don't, don't push, don't push. What did he realize it from? Don't push, don't push, don't push. Uh, okay. Okay, bye. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> Let's just get out of here. You want to fucking be that way? All right, fucking play by yourself. Peace. <laughs> There's got to be more of a plan than just running away, right? There has to be a different plan. <laughs> you know who the real victims here are? It's not the recruits getting fucked up. It's these cars, bro. We're just fighting in the fucking parking lot. All these cars are just getting fucked up, bro. Like, whose cars are these? Like, goddamn, you gonna pay for insurance? That's Hibiki, right? Or D? D, run him over. Run both of them over, bro. There's two things coming right now. The car and the other girl in the long dress. Here it is. Rip all those cars, as usual. Bro really fucking stuck the landing after he got out of the car to sit like this to give us feats. Okay, main character, I see you. What's he cooking up? <laughs> what in the Orochimaru was that? What, what in the Orochimaru? Oh. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck? That's her little blade? Why is her blade so small? It's like Mihawk's tiny blade that he uses against Zoro. What the fuck is this beam sword, bro? So he just wanted to bring more people here for teamwork. What? Oh, oh, poor little girl. Oh, no. A little cut on the fucking thigh. She's done, guys. She can't move anymore. What the fuck is that injury, bro? The, the injury's got to be worse than that, right? But then again, wait. She was getting, they were getting chased by that other girl. And the other girl had the little blade. And the blade didn't look that threatening. But if the cut is from that blade, maybe it is serious. Do you know how to draw, he said? What did he ask? Do you know how to draw? Draw what? Like, 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 like art? What the fuck? Fire hydrants? Where's the drawing coming? But that blade is red. But the blade is red. She threw away her blade. No, no, no. It's, it's, it's different. It's a different. Is that still her? I thought that D transformed for a second. It, Cause she threw her air bl her blade before. It, this is not D. I don't know anymore. This this could be. This could not be. Maybe I'm cooking too much. <laughs> she threw away her sword before, though. I. <laughs> boom, 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 boom again. Whoa, 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 whoa! Why do you have a blue beam this time? Wait, didn't you have a red before? Cause he has red, and and, 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 and then it changes again the color. What is what is going on? Who is who? Scotty, yeah, yeah, okay, okay, okay. So D is both the guy in this scene and the girl in the before scene. Because the blades, the color is red here. And she approached them with the blue blade, obviously. Because this is D's blade, right? And then here, D transforms the clown, still blue blade, and she has a little green blade right now. Okay, okay. D decided to get the teammates to fire the fire hydrant stuff so that we can get more vision obscure so he can go around doing transformations and fuck people's head up. And then what? <laughs> And, and then what? <laughs> okay. Where are, we, where are we going? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. 
Oh, drawings of their faces so he could look at it and then transform. Gotcha. Oh, is that D's nice way of saying you should quit now before I have to kill you? Because <laughs> he's planning on massacring everyone here or something, right? I don't know, but you, you, you should be an artist, yeah. Yeah, totemo. Sakurama-kun. Yeah, why are you, why did why does she need pictures of this, right? These are some fucking great sketches. Oh my god, yeah. Why why do you need these? Um I'm just a super fan and I wanted their portraits. Why did you want these portraits of our senpais? Um I'll let them know something. Huh? Anyways. <laughs> They're not scary, they're just strong. Are you scary? No, he has the red blade. It's the real one. You actually might end- Oh! No, that's the real ones. That's the real ones. Because she's got the green blade. They really might just end up killing each other. Oh, she's got multiple blades! That's why when she threw one, I was like, hold the fuck up, where did she get the blade back? But she has like multiple of these. It might not even be the same blade. These could be like a separate like throwing knife kind of blade. Or maybe she just has a bunch of shitty ones. I may be a spunky high school girl who's younger than you. How old is she? How old is she? I think the subs are wrong here. I think she meant to say college. She's a very spicy. が、お前に。そうですか。なら休憩でもしててください。できれば。どうせ怪我人ですし、当てになりません。いや、知らねえもん。あの言葉。いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、い
because of you, I get to win this guy again. The sub's kind of sussy, but it's basically went against this guy again, saying like, aren't you like kind of leaking that like I fought you before? Obviously, he's not going to be able to understand the dialogue mid-fight, but like, he's kind of just like, <laughs> I fought you before, motherfucker. <laughs> Teamwork! <laughs> Cut his head off! Post credit scene? <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> what is the point of a cliffhanger if you're gonna be in post credit scene to immediately continue it? That's so true! That is so fucking true! I've never seen a post credit scene where they've continued it like this. Usually post credit is supposed to kind of hint at the future shit that's gonna about to come after some kind of resolution. But they just like did that cliche cliffhanger. It's like, wait, 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 wait. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. The fight's not over yet. <laughs> fight's not over yet! Oh my... Thirty minutes each day, right? And like that's the thing, it's thirty minutes each day, right? Fuck, we got two more days of this. Yo, she's looking really excited about this. You got the girl on top of her, man. I mean, the anime episode is also like roughly thirty minutes, like timeline-wise. Like this might be one of the most accurate anime time to real time, you know, like translation. Obviously, it's not fully thirty-minute episode, but like pretty damn close. If we got hit there, our transformation would have been done, man. And, like, the goal is to get a key, right? The goal isn't to really beat the enemies. It's nice if you do it on the, in the meanwhile, but it's, it's to get a key. I still think that, like, because we're a duster and because we've been able to, you know, make up objects before and, and, and deceive people like the Divine Artifact, I, I just feel like there's going to be a moment where D will be able to create a key with his duster powers and kind of be able to cheat the exam. I'm not really sure. Today's episode was fantastic. Just so action-packed. Getting to see more of our different cohort members fight. This guy, Shion, has been a piece of shit the entire time. So hostile. So angry. And you know what? If you want to talk all that shit, if you want to be that kind of character, you better be able to fucking step it up and, you know, prove why you can talk all that shit. He didn't really. Bro got fucking clapped. And then we used him as a donkey by using reverse psychology to make him do things by saying don't do it. Eventually made him be able to do teamwork. So he, he did come around at the end. Suzu Kitty, sussy as all hell as usual. What is up with this girl? I don't know. My tinfoil theory is I hope that she is another duster that is infiltrated into the ranks, but she might not be. She probably isn't. The other cohorts fights, we didn't really get to see it, right? We got to see a little bit of, like, teamwork with um, the drawing girl and then the little bit older senior, right? There's, like, a super senior here. The This ranger with the old high school outfit on, right? She is pretty fun. Be a little petite. Her blade's small. But she's pretty fucking strong. So I wonder how we're going to be able to take her out in the future episodes. She was looking pretty happy when the other girl was on top of her. And it was cool to see a little bit more teamwork. And she even drew for us so that we could like obscure the vision and transform. And as usual, we always get away with D. Because like he can't just like fight. Because if he gets hit once, then it's kind of over. So by trying to get other people to come in and using them as like pawns or through teamwork, obscuring vision, transforming, creating more chaos. This is the way that D is able to fight. And the goal is... Uh, within these three days of 30 minute bouts, get that key and you'll be able to join the Color Rangers teams, right? But that's it for me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.